Hi, this video is about the Kirby Mathematics Contest. I'm going to show the solution for the November 2013 Question 18 Grade 7 8 Contest, which also came up in the Grade 9 10 and 11 12 contests. So the question is a cylindrical candle has a base radius 1 cm and height 10 cm. Another cylindrical candle has base radius 2 cm and height 20 cm. Two candles are melted and the wax is shaped into a cylindrical candle with base radius 3 cm. What is the height of this candle in centimeters? So for this question we will need to know the formula for the volume of a cylinder. So we would have the volume equals it would be the area of the base which is the area of a circle which we know is pi times radius squared times the height of the cylinder. So now we will write V1 for the volume of the first cylinder. So we have pi And then we have radius squared, so we know the radius of the first cylinder is 1 centimeters, so to square that we would have 1 centimeter squared. And then we have times the height, which we know is 10 centimeters. So we have, of course, pi. And then we have 1 times 10 is 10 centimeters squared times centimeters is centimeters cubed. So now we will write V2 for the volume of the second cylinder. So again we have pi times a radius squared, and we know the radius is 2 centimeters, so we would have times 4 centimeters squared. And then now we have the height as 20 centimeters. So we, of course, have the pi. Then we have 4 times 20 is 80, and then centimeters squared times centimeters is centimeters cubed. So now we will write V3 for the volume of the third cylinder. So we have pi again times radius squared, so we know the radius is 3 centimeters. So the radius squared would be 9 centimeters squared. And then we do not know the height, so we will just have times h. So now using the distributive law, we will have to add these two volumes up. So we would have pi times this factor plus pi times this factor, which would just be 10 centimeters cubed plus 80 centimeters cubed, is we would have pi times 90 centimeters cubed. So we know that the volume of the third cylinder must equal this. So now we know that we have to have we have to divide this volume by this volume. So of course we know that two common fact a common factor with both is pi. So we will divide both by pi. Then we can divide both sides by 9. So then this leaves 10 and this leaves just 1 and we will divide both sides by centimeters squared. And then here we're left with just centimeters. So as you can see, we have 10 centimeters, and here we only have h. So we have h equals 
10 centimeters. So we know the height of the, of the third cylinder is 10 centimeters. If you'd like to know more about this contest, please feel free to visit our website at www.brocky.ca slash caribou.